So we're here at Dungeon Gym, training legs. Ed was jumping in, so it's gonna be fun, I guess. Wasn't expecting it, so it makes me level up a little bit more. What we're gonna do here is put loads of blood in the quads first, and then move on to some heavy squatting motions. Two, work, let's go. Three, good. Four, good. Five, come on. Six. Good. Seven, easy. Eight, easy. Nine again. Ten, drop. One, good. Two, three, four, five. Come on. Six, come on. Pump them up. Seven, pump them up. Eight, nine, ten. Good. One, one, one. That's two, three, four, five. Come on. Six, come on. Seven, eight, nine. Sets. Nice. Good. Good. So I use uh, like I'll gauge this weight, but I'll do like a first set of like 15, then like a 12, okay. then like a 10, yeah. and a rest pause probably. So this weight I'll probably just do like four or five reps, see how it feels. Yeah. I just do that every week. If it feels good, I keep yeah. it there, and if it feels like well, too light, I'll just go. But I, I don't do any squats. No, even do I. Like I literally, the first time I squatted was last uh, last last week for like a year. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I did last week here. Yeah, so yeah, same. Yeah. For like a year. Because yeah. I, I, that's why like when I go down, I'm really controlled. Yeah. Because like I got a pain in this knee. I think I'm saying like you're the opposite knee. Yeah. Yeah. So this knee's not the best, so I have to be like really controlled. Yeah. That's why I wear these as well. <sighs> Heavy. Light work. Come on. Strong. Yes. And again. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Work. Yes, work. Come on. Easy. Yes, let's go. Get it. Good. And again. Come on. Now we work. Give me at least two, three more. Go. Yes, and again, get it, yes, so, let's go, work, get it up, yes, so.
Let's go. Let's work. Work, work, work. Yes, come on. Work, let's go. Easy. Come on, Alan, let's go. Come on. Yes. Come on. Good, and again. Let's get it. Yes, come on, work. Get it. Get it, get it. Strong. Yeah, that felt really good. Like it went up, it was good to like eight. I'm saying that's like my second time squatting in about a year, yeah. two years. Yeah, last week I only did four. Four plates last yeah, week, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four plates I did 10, and then the rest fours I did three. No, I did 10 and five, but I stripped to three. So I did four for 10, stripped back for three, for five, so 15. I always try staying like, like I'll go as low as eight reps, but my overall set will be 12 because I'll rest, pause or drop, you know? I never try to lift below like eight because I find if I do, I just get injured. Yeah, like I think anything below eight just becomes so heavy, especially because we're already strong. Yeah. It's like you got to think we're already relatively strong. So a normal 150 pound year old, 150 pound kid, doing eight reps is a lot different in weight to like to me and you doing eight reps because you're very strong. And then I just think that when you get to that point where you're already strong, the weight becomes dangerous. Well, let's be honest, if we were doing six reps, we'd probably nearly hit seven, seven plates. Yeah. And like, it only takes a little movement on your knee, that's your knee gone, you know? That's why like I'll incorporate a rest pause and a drop set so I can still hit that 12 to 15 rep range, but I'm still able to go as heavy as possible for eight, have a break, do like three, four reps, hit 12, you know? Just with the squat movement, I feel like it's more overall leg development. Like I feel it like quads, hamstrings, glutes, cardio system. So like what I've been doing is putting these as my second exercise and then really going downstairs and focusing on like really loading like the quads. I feel like it is one of the best movements for overall leg development. But like when you've got injuries, like knee injuries, you just have to be, be careful, innit? It's like, that's why even the use of these shoes just allow me more ankle mobility, a bit more of a sturdier foot placement. Cause you know, it's like in these, you can't do this. You can't move, you're like fixed, which is like very, very good, like structurally for your knees. But like if I just squat like barefoot, you can do all like you, you rotate your hip out and you can come in trying to get back into these as well because they're fucking hard like cardio system hard and i'm one of those i'd rather train harder and do less cardio like all my previous preps i've never had to do a massive amount of cardio because i train quite high volume high intensity yeah it is cardio yeah <laughs> it's the biggest cardio you're gonna do you know because i notice the guys who train very low, low volume approach or are quite slow in the training have to do tons of cardio generally unless they've just got crazy genetics or whatever you know like me if i've with the way i've trained i've never really done more like last year i did no cardio you know, this, the year before that, I was like 20, 30 minutes a day. I'd rather fucking spend less time on a Stairmaster if I can. Work, bro, come on. I'm with you. Drive it up. One, strong. Come on. Get it. Yes. And again, let's get it. 
Work. Come on. Let's go. Yes, and again. One more, one more, one more. One more, then rest pause. One more, rest pause. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Drive. Yes, one more. One more, I'm with you. I'm with you, let's go. Let's get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Set. Set. This machine is absolutely fucking amazing for blowing up your quads. So we're actually elevating the heels even more so we're more quad dominant. And we're gonna go down, almost like pause in that stretch position so we can really stretch and lengthen the quad and then drive up. You'll see this movement's very, very controlled. It's actually a really heavy piece of, piece of equipment, so there's no need to go like ridiculously heavy because I want perfect form on the way down, big stretch in the pocket, and then drive it up. So again, we're just gonna build the weight up in that stretch and then drive it up. One, good. And every time to sit in that pocket for like a second, you know? So you can fully lengthen your quad. Down, down, down. Fully lengthen them and then go up. Yeah, good. Just like super quad dominant. Yeah, and pause and drive. Nice slow mat negative. Get it? Yes. One, two more. Slow. Get it? Yes, one more. One more, make them perfect. Let's get it. There you go. Oh, yes, good sir, good sir. Foot position on here, and the elevation on like top of your squat shoes, it's just like all quads. I don't feel like any ham activation or anything. I think quads like always respond to higher reps. Tons of volume, like personally, like, yeah, like I can do like a squat for six reps. I don't feel it in my legs. I just feel it, it's fucking hard. It feels like cardio. Whereas when I train like very slow, controlled, it's like the pumps like hurts. And that's why I like to start off with a movement where I put loads of blood in my quads and then go do something heavy with a lot of control. And then towards the end of my session, I start pumping again. Cause quads and hams are just foot placement, you know? Different like elevations of your heels. I just stick with what works. So like this machine lights up my quads. So I just keep doing it, you know? I don't change it if it's, if I feel it, I just roll with it, you know? I think too many guys like try change 24 yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like me, if that works, that's like my movement every single week. Yeah. That leg extension, my movement every single week, you know? Yeah. Like I feel like every now and again, I'll like sub this in maybe for a squat. Like, cause I quite like this machine. Like this machine, fuck, another level. Especially with this like setup with the close stance and the heel on top of the heel elevation, all quad dominant. Control that negative, stretch that quad. Drive it up. Now we work. Slow. Stretch that quad. Drive. Good. And again. Come on. Slow. When it starts to hurt, let's go. Get it. Yes. And again. Come on. At least two to three more. Come on, at least two more. At least two more. Get it. Yes. Come on. Give me two more. Give me two more. You got two more, bro. You got two more. I'm with you. I'm with you. Big set. Big set. Come on. Let's get it. Drive. Yes, one more. Make this perfect. Real slow on the way down. Make this one hurt. Make this one hurt. Slow it down, come on. Slow, there you go, there you go. Feel it, every rep. Drive it up, up. Get it, yes, good sir. Good sir. Strong. Yeah. 
Fine. I have to do three working sets rather than four. When I train on my own, usually I'll do four working sets because I'm not able to just have that someone behind me just to push me that little, you know, more the comfort zone of having someone there in case I fail. So it allows me to just go a little bit heavier and get that extra one or two reps out. So what I do when I train on my own is I generally do one extra working set just so you know, like my output's similar in terms of the tax on the muscle. Obviously, Ali pushed me there through the last, you know, two, three reps. Just made me feel comfortable so that I can go beyond failure with those force reps. Whereas if on my own, I don't have that, that safety net, if you want to call it. So I end up just increasing the volume of touch. Come on. Drive. Yes, easy three, slow, 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 drive, yes, one more, make it the best rep, slowest rep, slow it down, there you go, grind it out, grind it out, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, yes, down, we'll go into five now and then leg press, Three, and again, come on. Four, strong. Five, strong, come on. Six, strong. Seven, come on, strong. Eight, good, good. Rest it, rest it. One, two, three, squeeze, four, good, five, come on, six, come on, seven, come on, eight, good, yes, and again, yes, good set, rest pause. Come on, two, work it, three, four, come on, five, come on, get it, yes, set, Woo. As you can see, it's like to finish off the quads pretty much. Slow negative five seconds, slow positive five seconds, five pump, and then back into it for 20 reps. Just forces so much blood in the quad after all that heavy work. Like I said, it's just incorporating 
different training methods and different styles like we've done the pump work with the partial reps and 21s we've done the heavy progressive overload style and then we're doing some you know concentric and eccentric training you know time and attention and shit like that so we got hamstrings after this come on two good stay on the way up yes. three come on down 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 slow on the way up four Good. Down, down, down. Five. Now pump, now pump. Let's pump. Let's go. Come on. Work. One and again. Two and again. Three and again. Four and again. Five. Now we work. Now we work. Now we work. Come on. Come on, Edward. Now we work. Let's go. Big set. Big set. Slow. Up slow. Up slow. Come on. Take every rep as you can. One, good, there we go. Grind these out. Grind these out. Slow. Grind out. Two. Come on. Now we work. These are the reps. Come on, you've got it. You've got it. Come on. Let's go on with you. Let's get it. All the way up. Three. Good. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Work, work, work. Let's go. Up. Four. Come on, mate, it's one perfect. So on the way down, so on the way up. Come on, let's get it. So on the way up, so on the way up. Whoa. Yes, now go. Five quick. Five quick, come on. Five quick, let's go. Let's go. One. Come on. Two, come on. Three, come on. Four, one more. Yep. Yes, good stuff. So just uh, finishing quads with some unilateral work just to isolate each quad. So just, there's not much left in the quads now, so it's literally just pump to get some blood in there. Like, just do, you know, some unilateral movements. Then we'll move on to hamstrings. So you can see we've done like five big movements for legs. You know, one sort of finishing movement, and then we're gonna move on to hams. Ten, good. Let's go. Eleven, squeeze. Twelve, squeeze. Thirteen, squeeze. Six to eight, six to eight. Two, three, four, five. Come on, one more. One foot light. Two light. Three light. Four. Come on. Five. Come on. Six. Good. Seven. Dumbbell curls, hamstring to finish hammies off. And then probably just do some glute hit for us for glutes. And then I'll train her after, have a meal train her. So you can see it's a, been a fucking long session. I've been training now like two hours and 15. 
yeah obviously training with Ali so it always increases my training time by like the two and a half hours if I train with a training partner if I train on my own like leg day one hour and 45 two hours but as you can see the intensity doesn't really drop you know we're still all out for every set Ah, cramping my foot. I love that movement because as I'm like curling it up, I'm actually squeezing my feet together so it hits my inner thighs as well. So obviously in that back double bicep shot, you know, having the hang in your inner thighs really helps with that movement so I can sort of feel it in my hamstrings, also feel it in my adductors as well. So it's a really good movement to use towards the end of your workout. Blows up those hamstrings and inner thighs. Just got to not lift crazy weight, come up, really contract and squeeze the hamstrings hard. So I've only actually done three direct hamstring movements, but you've got to think like the squatting, you know, especially on like the Smith was, you know, going to involve hamstrings, glutes, quads. Then obviously we've done like a true squat, an adductor, a leg press, leg extension. So it's almost like three direct quad movements as well. So plenty of volume, just the way we like it. So here, just doing four sets, ten reps. Oh my, that's killing. So four sets, ten reps. Just squeezing the glutes as hard as I can at the top. Obviously, it's the last exercise, so there's not much left in my legs. Got to finish like we started, all out. And then, probably finish off on just a calf exercise. Or I might even leave calves till arm day, because I trained them. I don't train calves last. On chest day, probably do one, one calf and do one. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, and that is legs done. So, big leg session, that was a long one. Train with Edward, who's, uh, he turned pro last year. Obviously, follow Dungeon Gym, this is where I'm training at the moment. Honestly, this is my favorite gym in Dubai, and it sounds crazy, because you've got all these big gyms like Banus, but here's just like, feels like home, it's just hardcore. You know, everyone in this gym's amazing, and you're just able to get into your zone, it's full of serious guys who train hard. So if you are in Dubai, check out Dungeon Gym. Abdullah owns a gym, he's an amazing guy. You know, lives and breathes this this sport of bodybuilding and just loves it and you know every bit of equipment in here has been hand selected you know to uh to what we need so everything hits like every single gym i've been to nothing hits like them the movements and the machines in here you know you have old school flex you have like really old school cybex you've even got strive some of the oldest hardcore pieces you'll find you know so make sure you check out Jordan gym subscribe to my youtube like share the love plenty more content coming soon that's me done. I'm going to get a post-workout meal and then go train the lady. So, over and out.